However, judging by the Orianna, we saw this pick with uh, Rookie with Orianna against the Mordekaiser mid lane as well. So BLG's read is basically that this Probably should be on top side. Chiefs are going to be able to take this dragon. And again, we're seeing Vici getting themselves an advantage in this early game through objectives. But on the contrary to game one, they're not losing anyone in return. Yep. Every lane knows how Fast to Fast League of Legends you want to see. Uh -oh. As I say that, Vici going to catch them off and Forge deleted. Yeah, so we just started targeting Meteor. Now they're going to try and put the ball into position. The Dragon goes down to about 600, 700 HP. He will get taken down by Chieftain. And now they're almost certainly going to try and leave Chieftain to die. He just falls straight away. But here comes Kingen. They're trying to get the to be stopped before it hits the tower. Yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. Once more for Forge. Oh, Forge needs to be so careful in those situations. Just not respecting. A bit greedy. He needs to be very careful, though. Shinmo. He's going to jump in. They do get the feathers flying. They try to grab them back. And actually, a lot of damage. As Ibo is able to free hit, so is Jin Zhao. And you can see Chieftain trying to jump in on the backside with Fofo. TP's come in. And everyone backs away. They will be at the Eyeboy's flash, though. Death Realm goes down there onto Kingen as he just tries to keep him away. I don't think Cube really wants this because he's going to come out and immediately see that he's in the middle of five people. Gets a good grab, though. They jump in. The flashes are down. It's going to be Rakan, the first one to go. And there goes the Hexic Ultimatum. It is a fully scrappy fight as Forge was. That's going to give him a big burst of damage here. And it's going to be difficult for like Something's amiss. Jinmo going to get jumped on top of. They will get the stun, the quickness, the kill. And it's a good little pick there for Vici. Good slide. Patient. They're backing away completely. Give up that Infernal Drake because they just don't have the raw stats to deal with the side of BLG. And they will. I don't know if I fully expected this kind of a display from him. I expected him to be a little bit better, but I suppose it is still early days in the season. So we're seeing. Sure, their laning phase looks very, very good against most of the. Oh, uh, the player that oh, out. jumping bye -bye. straight in, flash over, and Jin Zhao is dead. Now Jinmo. Well, so you know what is going on right now? And as I said, Meteor could just get caught up in the back end of this, and I don't think they're gonna. What? Oh! No! Look at that trade Kingen did onto Cube. It was the Precision Strike second one with the true damage going. So he's gonna lose everything. So this Baron is basically a bait and trying to get a catch. But if you look at Fofo right now, he still has that blue trinket up. There's. They're in no rush to really head for Baron, so to walk wow. around the entire way. This is going to give him so much more travel time on the map. He's actually going for it. The hope for is just Forge getting some great poke down just like that. Here we go. Maybe looking for something there. Yeah, Quick know that the Baron is going down. Down to have a 50% HP. Meteor needs to get himself in here. This is prime territory for the Kiana, but misses it. And Meteor goes down to the GA, but the Elise has fallen as well. The Shockwave hits nothing as they wait to try and catch on the Eyeboy. He's dead. Kingen is just wrecking on that back line. It ends up taking the Baron, but they lose everything else. BLG take the fight and ace Vici. Great play. I love the timing on that one. But unfortunately for them, they didn't have the escape plan. And Jin Zhao was just untouched in that fight as well as Bofo. Like the two of them just able to put down so much damage. They'll take themselves an inhibitor as well as an inhibitor turret. And like you said, that infernal dragon soul. Four stacks of infernal as well. Yes, you got the bar. BLG. Not taking any fights they don't need to. As you said, at this stage, as they're just getting every single part of their base picked apart. Right in and then just finish it off. But Forge, let's see if he can catch him. He can, he stops some flash in, no flash available, no GA, and he is out of there. Forge catching out King in the bot boy, and Maestro have other ideas. They're gonna try and delay this. I think they think better of it because they have no vision. They back themselves away. It is gonna be a trade of objectives. That is the best possible scenario <laughs> for Vici that they could have ever hoped for. Honestly, VG are going to come out with this with no... You got to go home, boy. That was just not going to pretty out. much this play right now. They've got a minute left on their buff. They got the quickness coming in. He will get the knock back. Not able to catch anything else. But there's a huge amount of damage there from the Affiliates Ultimate. Now do BLG look for the re-engage? They do, but they miss it. King King goes in with the Hexac Ultimatum. Oriana is dead! Who is the Camille? This is VG. They can 100% win this. They finally found the fight. So much damage going over the other way, but... Vici, what are they doing right now? I, I think they they're just be backing away. The they're just backing away they so they the don't TPs. get caught out, and they've got the TP available, so they're going to try and TP in with Cube and end this game. It's all on Meteor. It's all on Jin Zhao. Is Aphilios broken? Can he 3v5? 
I, I don't feel like BLG can stand this. They're, they're down two people, and both of those are big carry champions. Here we go. They're going to jump in. Death Realm is still available. They're jumping on the Jin Zhao. He flashes away. He's not able to go down just yet, but they the lead Meteor, and there's just nothing else the side of BLG can do. They're going to try and keep themselves alive, but the Kiana Jin is still down. Going. Jin Zhao is still going, though. He's eventually taken down. The Thresh can do nothing more, and Vici take us to 1-1. In oh, BLG had that game under their lockdown for so damn long, but I'm telling you, the King Gen disrespect comes back to bite him. It always happens. It always goes to three King games. Gen. History repeats itself with the, with the bit of disrespect, and he's the reason they can't end the game. He's the reason they can't take Baron. I don't want to get too harsh on him because it was just unfortunately one misstep, but at the same time, you can't do that at this level. You gotta feel bad if you're a fan. They had full map control until that one that single spike. play. Look at it. <laughs> it's like literally.